Hi Virgo and anyone else tuning in to this video. Welcome. We're here for you. This is your Virgo full moon reading. It's so exciting. Wow. This is what we need. I'm here in this way. This energy that's coming through coming up here on the 27th of the month of February 2021 is what we have been needing. No, and how do we explain this? We've had about three, four, five, six planets in Aquarius for quite some time, right? We've been building up in um, these energies as well as we've moved from Capricorn energy to Aquarius energy over the last even few months. As we sort of transition into 2021, there's been a really strong focus on that archetype of Aquarius. Now, Aquarius is an air sign, right? It is actually a fixed air sign. It's very much in the mind, very much sort of interpretive, busy with sort of, you know, the, 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 the understanding of also um, how, how society works, how it moves on to its next sort of stage of its own journey as well. It's a sort of macro sort of thinking space. Now it is, and it can feel detached at times. It can feel kind of like this aloof energy is like, I can't really put my finger on it. You know, I can't really understand exactly what it is that I'm also like feeling or experiencing, you know, that can be, that can be the energy as well associated with Aquarius. And you know, every, every, every energy has its own sort of archetype as positive and, and negative energy in terms of, do I feel like this, you know, propels me to move forward? Do I feel like it sort of challenges me to, to, I mean, I also look back interesting. I'm not sure what that's going to, but being Aquarius energy, we're talking about things that really need time to also transform for us to sort of, um, you know, recognize what it is that we want to change and where it is that we want to carry that realization off to and what our personal responsibility is in that space as well in making that reality come full circle. So now given having said that <laughs> Virgo, yes, we a Virgo reading and it is a Virgo full moon, but it's important to know what has preceded this stage. We have had as well the new moon in Aquarius that was back, um, you know, earlier in the week. And that that was, again, a very strongly hit a peak there with that Aquarius energy. So now why is it such a big deal? OK, within the landscape of this full moon in Virgo that's coming up and that's clearly energy around. Well, it, you know, there's something of this grounding energy now. OK, we are moving into the high speak of energy flow, but it is in the earth sign again of Virgo. So there is this sort of need to and this expectation to sort of qualify and quantify to ground. OK, and sort of bring down to so-called earth to apply it to the third dimensional paradigm what it is that we actually want to see ourselves also making change in the space up so there, there is you know with a virgo as well this heightened level of expectation possibly where we say well oh my gosh i got the vision let's say and now i feel like these are the things that i need to put into place to be able to get this off the ground um yes and 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 okay that's lovely okay it's very productive energy but there can also be the sensation of like oh, but i have to do it perfectly okay and so where you've got virgo in your chart might reside um you know in by way of house um in 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 in, in sort of bringing attention to what what it is that will be culminating here for you when you feel that sort of pressure point of I have to do this, I have to create this, I want to create this, I feel like this is needed also in society, right? So with that new moon in Aquarius moving up into and batoning over to this full moon of Virgo, there is this sort of impression as well that we feel we lay in a certain way. We're having this sort of interview with the universe right now, if we could say it in that way, talking about what it is that we really want to to see i'm um, here we come full circle right so and virgo is ruled by mercury mercury is an air sign air planet it is it is ruling communication matters of communication very important when it comes to matters of gemini and virgo given that they're both ruled by mercury so you know mercury energy again is an air air energy but but you know when, when it comes to virgo it's like you know i want to look at how it is that we also discuss the things that go into this the actual practicality of this space so you know I'm here ring, have fun. Let's get into the cards here, Virgo. And I'm going to just sort of turn the camera there so we can see the cards here in action. And, um, but it's very exciting. And I was meditating on your energy and welcome. This is your first time. I just want you to know that this is in addition to a tarot card reading. We're also channeling. I'm channeling. So I'm interacting with the energy and I'll be relaying that to you and the ways that I tap into the energy field here for you, Virgo. All right, let's jump into it. And if it is going by quickly at times, just note that as well. That might be why. And you can slow it down. Okay. But I was meditating on your energy, Virgo, before I turned on the camera. And I'm seeing here that, you know, Mm, there, there, I'm seeing that there's a lot here coming up, obviously, as a full moon. Um, you know, things being brought up and out. It's, it's a culmination. It's a celebration even, right? And if you have a lot of planets or a number of planets that are prominent in, in Virgo, let's say your sun, your moon, your rising sign, your Venus, Mars, there will be a sensation of, of I'm hearing gravitation. I mean, it's almost like a gravitational pull. I'm hearing in this book, the mother cups just came through there as well. And the sun of final is like, I know what I want. It's like, there's something that you're very, very passionate about Virgo. There's no like putting this off. I'm hearing that as well. Two swords of bright, even your mind. I mean, you can't even get your mind, your mind to, to undo. I'm hearing the talk here. Interesting. Let's get a little further into that. This is something psychic. This is something, 
emotional. This is for number of you with the Mother of Cups and the Two of Swords. And, you know, yeah. And for number of you, this is something that you even have figured out. You feel like you have some sort of answer and it's simplifying something here for you. Now, Virgo, again, I was meditating on your energy for return of the camera. And I'm seeing that there's something that you have simplified. Like completely okay like you are coming down to this you're saying i don't want to deal with that ever again so i'm going to deal with it right here right now and i'm going to just sort of get, I'm, I'm going to put the nail in the coffin baby nine of pentacles in reverse <laughs> kind of looks like a coffin two of swords upright <laughs> yeah and the mother of cups it's like we cannot bluff i'm hearing this as well anymore like it would be silly to think that we could say this and like not really say what we really feel in this space as well ten of cups in reverse some of you dealing maybe within with someone in this space who just kind of like gets you moving in this direction okay maybe they encourage you they're like look you need to start speaking your mind you need to start speaking your truth it's like someone here is really inspiring you i'm hearing as well in this way or someone and it could be your own energy absolutely but there's just something there's something with the mother cups and this is very strong divine feminine energy for a number of you there's something that is just bringing you closer also to you know really clarifying your dream i'm hearing that as well your ideal your i mean it's your soulmate this is for me higher, higher farmer there for number there it could be a wonderful friend as well but once it gets clear I, i'm hearing freedom freedom um wow the hard fun and then yeah but for number this is freedom from the mind okay and realizing you know what what are the thoughts that just don't serve me when i'm trying to understand my future interesting my future with the sun of pentacles and the hard fun and it might be something actually that has been a little bit controversial here with the two of swords with the mother cups with the ten of cups something that just it was really hard to like talk about this i mean at a certain point in time very hard to get off the ground and it can be something of a of a of a of, a, of, a, of a, even a paradigm shift that you felt or someone has felt was needed prior to being able to have this experience I mean, or, or even this conversation about the experience you want to have more freely. Now, the nine of wands coming through up right at the base of the reading is really important because there's something building here, right? We lead up into the ten of cups in reverse that leads out of that nine of pentacles in reverse. You got two nines and the tenth cup at the apex of your spread. We continue out with another ten, ten of swords, Virgo, and the five of wands. I'm hearing... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not funny. I'm hearing, I'm serious tonight. I'm hearing it this way with, with, with my talk. I'm hearing it like that. Oh, the father of cups. No wonder. Looking down to the mother cups in the theme. You have the devil in reverse, two cup, two ones in reverse, and the daughter one. You've discovered something, Virgo. I'm hearing, for number this is a craft. This is a, this is a passion. This is a desire. There's something you're like, I'm, I can't, I cannot not tap into that. I'm hearing that with the devil in reverse, some kind of potential even. For number this is something that you'll, will find a lot of success in. I'm hearing it like this, a tremendous level of success. It is something that has just sort of been like latent. I'm seeing something even has has been building. It's not like, oh my God, random. It's the nine of pentacles and the nine of wands we're talking about. <laughs> this is a lot that has been sort of even coming up. You know, I'm seeing even a geyser. It's like, you know, it's just, it's just kind of been, we've, we've seen the spurts every now and then, but not until I'm hearing the moment that, that we actually, I'm hearing set, set, set say it say it out loud uh huh okay so for a number of you got the chair in reverse there's something you go i gotta address for a number of you that someone is so passionate about something they're like i'm not gonna not say it devil in reverse mirror in that chair in reverse okay it's so tempting it's like literally someone who has been <laughs> they had to stand for like a train ride of like three hours i'm hearing this way three three years i'm in this for a number of you and there's like one open seat that's just like right there next to them and no one's sitting there and they could easily sit down they're like why would i stand they're looking down at the seat they're looking up at, at the hallway uh, you know on the train they're like what what do i do why wouldn't i do it you know that's really at that point now tower in reverse aha yeah so you're excited about i'm hearing there's something you're excited about i'm hearing train vacation as well something you're planning with a harp on here the tower and the chair in reverse something is oh boy no 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 it's building it's building virgo it's not really no it's more like yes devil in reverse <laughs> more of that deliver it baby and on time please thank you <laughs> for a number of you this is something that you're starting father cups to see more clearly for a number of you this is someone you know strong soulmate vibes virgo very very strong oof oof mother of cups just flipped over right there it's like someone can't even get enough of somebody here well the father of cups in reverse it's like but for a number of you this is okay there's someone here who is not really open maybe about 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 the the dimension of what they feel what they mean what once again somebody may feel like there's an, this elusive energy it's like i can't catch the, the the butterfly sort of energy with the father cups very very tantalizing very entrancing father wants to reverse as well and look at this the father cups <laughs> they're getting farther and farther by the way <laughs> yeah we started out we're like mm, let's clear it mother cups and the father cups <laughs> Father Cups, like, split off from her. Then we got the Father of Wands teaming up with the Father of Cups. They're looking back at the Mother of Cups. They're both in reverse. It's like, they're doing a double take. Like, 
bro, go get her. I'm hearing that mother cups. Okay. Now your theme is the ace of cups upright, magician, ah, ha, 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 daughter cups in reverse, and the emperor in reverse. You are in love. I mean, this is in for a number of you. Like, I'm hearing in, 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 in India, I'm hearing that so strongly. In Indila, Indila, I think that's the name of an artist, like a musician. Wow, a uh, hermit here coming through mirroring the ace of cups and the magician. This is something though that you want to in, even implement into your life in some way. You're, you're, I'm hearing reptile. I'm hearing that passion. I'm hearing the, the magician and the ace of cups. I'm hearing reptilian passion. There's something maybe you even want to teach, something with academics. I was hearing that earlier as well. The hermit here for reason is something with the physical body. It has to do with transformation, rehabilitation. I'm hearing that as well. Maybe something that you're even studying. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's very exciting with the Magician and the Ace of Cups. But for a number of you, this is something that you're looking towards, and it's the vision with the Magician. We'll get into your extended. Thank you for tuning in, Virgo. Have a lovely, lovely, lovely full moon in your own sign, and I can't wait to see you guys at the next video here. Side note, I just, it's too fun and exciting for me, <laughs> not to mention it. I started a new channel, you guys. Feel free to tune in there as well via the link in the buy box below, and it's more lifestyle oriented, so things related to health, related to beauty, related to hair care. I know you guys have been really asking, so I'm like, listen, I'm going to make a separate channel for this, be able to organize it all. Feel free to tune in there as well if you feel guided, and uh, let me know your thoughts and anything you might want to see there, and we might focus on, um, you know, even like have having some sorts of um overlap with with this channel and that channel so thank you guys again for tuning in and the name is alchemy new lifestyle so take it as you will <laughs> there's definitely some relation there bye